What's on YouTube? It's Pete TT back at it with a brand new video. And in today's video, guys, we are talking about some of the news from E3. Very specifically, we are talking about Anthem. Now, before we go too far, let me just say this game is absolutely awesome. It looked amazing when it was showed off at E3. I got super excited about it. A lot of other people got super excited about it. And it is even being branded as a game that could potentially be a competitor to Destiny 2. And that is some feat, you know. Everyone that's played Destiny knows how goddamn good it is. You know the reputation of Destiny. For a new IP to be coming out and to be compared to games such as Destiny 2, that is absolutely and truly amazing. So... Without further ado, let's jump in and talk about what we know so far about the game Anthem. As I said at the beginning, Anthem is a new IP brought to you by Bioware. Now, personally, I have to hold my hands up, guys. I have never played a Bioware game in my life. I know they made series like Mass Effect, and that was obviously a game series and franchise that was truly loved and adored by its audience. But for me, I've never played one. So when it first came up and it was like, yeah, here's a new game from Bioware, check it out. I was like, yeah, okay, let's take a look at it. But when I got to see the gameplay of it, it just blew my mind. It looks amazing. Now, what kind of game is it? Well, to paraphrase here and quote from the guys on stage, it is a shared world action RPG. For those of you who might not know what the technical names of the thing is, basically, guys, that is what we have come to know and love as a looter shooter. That in its own probably gives you some reason why it is being compared to things like Destiny and Destiny 2. What else do we know about Anthem then? Well, we know that you are going to be playing as somebody called a freelancer. Now, I think that's obviously going to be some kind of like freelance mercenary soldier type person. But again, the gameplay and information we have at the moment is very limited. This is a game that isn't scheduled to release until later on in 2018. So I do expect a lot more information to come out as the months roll on. The game basically is a solo game to start with, but you can make up to four man teams in what they are saying is a drop in drop out co-op game mode. And what we got to see from E3 was a person playing with their friend, they're running around the open world, shooting, you know, enemies and causing havoc. And out of nowhere, their friends literally dropped in. Like, if you've played Titanfall or Titanfall 2, you know when you call your Titan in and they come plummeting down from the sky, they do like a fist smash on the floor and then stand up? Very similar to that, as you'll see in the gameplay in the background. Um, so, yeah, drop in, drop out. It is very good, you know, it has its advantages. It does have its disadvantages, I have to admit. You know, people can just, like, bugger off when you don't need to be doing anything or you don't want to be involved in a certain activity. But the fact you can drop in and drop out is very good for the game. Now, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, the, the players are running around in an exosuit. Again, the exosuits look very similar to something you would see in Titanfall, but a very smaller version of them. And they stated that the exosuits are fully customizable. They are also not just called exosuits, they are called javelins. Um, they look pretty cool. I've got to be honest, you get to see as the gameplay rolls on, you will see things like rocket launchers and mortars and stuff like that. And the fact that they are fully customizable means you can swap out the weapons of them. You can swap out their abilities. You know, you have abilities on your left back, your right back. Then you can press left back, right back together and you get like a super, like again, similar to Destiny. Um, it just looks honestly amazing, okay? They also touched lightly on crafting. Now, crafting is something I love, okay? It's brilliant in The Division. It's missing, in my opinion, in Destiny. And the fact they're including it into Anthem, I personally think is a very good thing. If we're able to craft upgrades for our Javelin and we're able to craft maybe armor or weapons or grenades, anything like that, I just honestly think it is going to be very, very good if it is implemented in the right way. Again, I want to draw back to a point where it's being called out to be very similar to Destiny and the Division. Is it going to be a competitor to them? And then they announced that there would be continued support for a long time after launch. And that says to me, 
you know, if you're a Bioware fan and you played Mass Effect, if you're a Division fan, if you're a Destiny fan, you know what these game developers are like for continued support after launch. It can only be a good thing, you know, however it comes, be it DLC, be it live events, anything like that, it's always good when devs carry on support for a game for long periods of time after the game's launch. It means that they have a very good idea of where the game is going. They've not just thought about, you know, the original game and its launch. They've thought maybe six months, 12 months, 18 months, even two years down the line where they want the game to be, how they want content to be brought to us. And that can only be good for a game. Let's talk then about loot drops because, again, as you will see in the background, in the back, in the background, in the background, the footage in the background, the loot drops from killing higher level NPCs. So these are like named boss, and they did say that they're going to be like rarity tiers. So, you know, if we draw an equivalent Destiny or the Division where you've got your blues, your greens, your legendaries, your exotics. Then again, this can only be a good thing, okay, as you get to level up, you get to use different rarities of items, you know, there's going to be those super rare things that you have to work for, there's going to be some things that are very easy to get, and yeah, that kind of wraps up the information that we know so far for Anthem. For me, as you probably guessed by talking about it, I love Destiny, I love The Division, although I've walked away from it a little bit from its dry spell. You know, they are amazing games. Anthem looks like another game that is going to be on the same route. It's going to be very, very good, massive worlds, lots of things to do by yourself, part of a team. You know, there's just always going to be something for you to do in a game like this. As always, guys, you know, when more information comes out, I am going to bring it your way. This is a game that I'm going to be getting in on betas for. It is a game I'm going to be getting a pre-order in for and picking up day one because I'm already super excited for it. So, yeah, if you want to see more Anthem news, information, gameplay when we get that far down the line, make sure to smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video. If you did indeed like it, let me know in the comments you got in the section down below. What do you think about Anthem? You know, do you think it's going to compete? with destiny 2 do you think it looks good do you want to see more from it before you make up your own mind let me know in the comment section down below and as always guys thank you very much for watching and until that next video i'll catch you all soon